Okay, welcome all you physicists, welcome to the next episode of my Modern Physics playlist. And today we are going to be talking talking about matter waves, or commonly known as de Broglie wavelengths, or de, Bro or de Broglie waves. So, remember back in a few episodes ago, I talked about the momentum of a photon, and how a through Compton scattering, Compton showed, and Einstein showed, that a photon, I mean that light, which they thought was a wave, behaved as a particle. So let's let's write it down here. So what they said was light, which is a wave, behaved as a particle. Okay. Now what the Broglie waves are gonna tell us is the opposite. That particles that we normally see in real life, particles that we normally assume to be particles, behave as oops, wrong color, as waves, and this is the whole wave-particle duality of matter and particles that we are going to be talking about in a few in a future episode, and it's really interesting. And this is the, basically the 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 heart of um, quantum mechanics. So this, all these lessons are all leading up to this, the video that I am anticipating in the future, the wave-particle duality lesson that I'll be teaching to you guys. Okay, so um, let's recall what um, Compton said about the about waves. He said, uh, I mean about light and how it, it had a momentum, and he said that you know the moment the momentum of light can be found using. Um, moment, momentum equals h over lambda, and because there is no mass anywhere in here, um, the wave, which represents by wavelength, had a momentum, and it resembled, and it exhibited ca characteristics of a particle because particles have m momentum, and light had momentum, so light behaved as a particle. So what De Broly said was that hmm. So since light was a wave, was thought to be a wave, and had momentum, couldn't we just rearrange this and then use this and then use this to explain particles behaving as waves. So what De Broglie did was a simple rearrangement and he said that let's bring this up and bring the P down. So lambda equals to H over P or lambda equals H over M V because we know M V equals P. So he said that for any matter, any and remember matter as as in things that behave as particles for any particle that has mass and has velocity, it also has an associated wavelength. So that means you and I both have wavelengths. But the reason why we don't see ourselves as waves is because our wavelength is incredibly tiny. And this is because, remember, h is, the value of h is really, really, really small. And it's 6.63 .6 times 10 power negative 34. And this is an incredibly tiny value. So, and let's say for a typical human, you all have mass would be like 70 or 80 kilograms. And let's say that we are moving at a speed of one meter per second. Okay, so this would mean that our wavelength would be something to the 10 power negative 34. And that is a really, really, really small number. That's why we don't see ourselves as having a, a wavelength. That's why we see ourselves as being a particle because the wavelength that we can, that we ought to perceive is really really small that we can't even see it. But what if we had an electron instead? Okay, if we had an, an, an electron, its mass is really really tiny. For example, an, um, the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms. And we can see that if we divide this by that, the wavelength is much bigger than our own. And that is why when we use a microscopes, or even uh, more precise instruments, um, we can see that an electron actually has a wavelength. And we'll talk more, more about this wavelength that uh, um, the uh, electrons seem to uh, exhibit in future episodes. Um, but just in this episode, I just want to touch on how De, De Broglie used um, Compton's momentum formula and rearranged it and said, you know what? Particles can behave as waves. Since waves can behave as particles, particles can behave as waves. And so indeed, he, he was right. We behave as waves, but we just don't see it. Um, electrons behave as waves, and I'll, talk, and I'll talk about why and how this was proven in experiments in future videos. So, hopefully you guys like, enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!